Hi, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can uh, add uh, testimonials to your website. So um, the templates uh, often there's like a carousel like this with some testimonials and um, how you, you the, so these aren't added um, on the front end, these are added on the back end and then they automatically populate here. So what you do when you're logged in you'll see the toolbar at the top, go to your website dashboard the website dashboard you'll see a link that says social reviews and then if you go to reviews you can see the reviews here so you could edit the reviews just by changing the name the review title and the um, what the review is, change the star rating, review date, you can add categories, you can add a review image, uh, a link that goes to a particular website potentially if you wanted to. Um, so you can just update that and then click update review and that will update the review. If you wanted to add a new review just click add custom review and then fill out this form and then it will uh, add the new review to the list here and then that will automatically appear on the front end of the website. Now you can also, if you go to platforms, you can integrate the reviews with um, social review websites. Um, ones that are popular with the recruitment agency would be uh, Google My Business, um, Yelp, or uh, Facebook reviews, or Trustpilot. So, uh, for example, if you wanted to integrate with Google My Business, you just click that. And then um, I'm just going to clear locations because this one's already set up. And you just click sign in and get access. And uh, I'm just gonna choose this one. And then it will say it wants to connect, just go yes, continue. And then it gives you this code here. So just copy that, go back here and paste that in there like that, and then click verify code. And, uh, going to choose Rec Sites and then click Save and there you go and then just going to manually just sync those just um, to get the latest ones and then if you go to Settings go to Review Platforms go to the Google My Business one and then Auto Sync and then uh, you can say how often you want to auto sync the reviews uh, once a day is enough. If you do once an hour, every six hours is probably a bit too much. Um, once a day is more than enough, or even um, once a week is, is fine. And then just save settings. And that will then automatically add the uh, reviews to your website uh, as they're added to Google My Business, for example. Um, and then what you need to do then, you need to go to templates. And then the review template, for example, here, if we can edit that. Currently, it's showing the cust the platforms showing the custom ones. So if I get rid of that and use Google My Business, it will show the reviews here. And then if I save that template, just click Save. And then if I go to the front end website, it's now showing the reviews from my Google My Business account. Um, and if I click into click into that, it will redirect to the uh, Google My Business page, and it will show the reviews here. So, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can customize how these look. Uh, so, for example, if I go to the back end of the website, go to the social reviews templates. And you can create new templates, but for purposes of this um, video, it's going to show. Uh, we're going to work with this one here. So we're going to edit this template, and uh, we there's all there's a slider template, or there's a grid or masonry, or you can create a little badge. So there's all different sorts of layouts. But I'm just going to I like the slider one here, and you can, there's all different templates as well that you can choose from. I quite like this Vega one. Um, and there's filters, so you could say maximum number of reviews is that I want to collect is 50. Um, I want to only show four stars as a minimum. Um, you can set it from uh, ascending to descending or random, so it's most recent first or oldest first or random. 
Um, you can hide reviews that don't have any text. Um, you could include or exclude um, filters based on particular words. Um, you could uh, filter by category. So, for example, if when you um, are doing, um, well, this filter by category will only usually work for custom reviews where you're adding them manually in the back end because there is a, um, on the, when you're adding a review manually, uh, there is an option to create a category. So, for example, you could create a category uh, when you're adding the review called candidates, and then you could create a candidate template, and then when you click filter by category, you choose the candidates, and then it would only show the, uh, and then you'd copy that short code up here, add it to the candidates page, for example, where you want the reviews to show, and then it would only show the candidate uh, testimonials. And you could do another template for clients. And then um, when you're adding a client review, um, you could um, use the client, add a client category, and then create a template and just choose the, um, client category here and then copy the short code and put it into the client page and then it only showed the client reviews on the client page so that's what that category thing does um, on the settings you can change um, how this looks so for example you could show the date you could um, show the reviewer image um, you could uh, you know to toggle these on and off and uh, you can have different uh, so I've trimmed this to 20 words, but you could you could change that. And you could change the, um, if you go to slider, you could change the um, autoplay speed. You could change how many slides that you show. So for example, I've got that as, as three, but you could change that to four, for example. And then that will change it to four, but I think three works quite well. Slides to scroll three, but I'll change that to one. So it's going to scroll one at a time rather than three at once. And then you can change the navigation because it's, as it's arrows, but then you could change that to dots if you wanted to. Or you could do both, um, dots and arrows, if you wanted to. But I, I think that's a bit too much, so I'd prefer just arrows. Um, and uh, you could add a header to this if you want to, so you can display a header. Uh, and then you could uh, customise what, what you want to show on, on the header. Um, so that's... Uh, an overview of testimonials so you can integrate with particular review platforms or you could um, add the reviews manually to the website um, and uh, it works using these short codes so once you create the template you just need to uh, save the template and copy that short code and paste it in the, the part of the page where you want it to go anyway uh, do reach out if you have any questions have a great day